All right, welcome to my March 15th live item shop review video. It's almost St. Patrick's Day, and as such, we could see cosmetics tonight. By the way, I did a video just a few hours ago about the Emerald Axe. If you missed that, check it out. It's worth a watch. I do have a few birthday shout outs. First up is Prophetus Maximus. He turns 33 today. Happy 33rd birthday. Next up is one of my Twitter followers. He said his name is Mahir and today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Mahir. Then I saw one from Louis G and said he's been watching since season eight and today is his 28th birthday. Happy 28th birthday, Louis. All right, what do we got here? A gift from my great friend, Miss Marvel 311, AKA Leslie. Let's see what this gift contains. Holy smokes, the Emerald Smasher Pickaxe. This is super rare. Look at this. How funny though, because I literally just did a video about this pickaxe, the Emerald Smasher, as well as the Emerald Axe. And I literally ran the Lucky Rider skin and I said, I don't have this and it could be back this year. And look at this, here it is. Thank you so much, Leslie, that's awesome. It's even got a light on it. Amazing, that must mean all the St. Patrick's Day stuff is in the shop, I can't wait to see it. Another gift from Miss Leslie. Holy smokes, the pot of gold. I was looking for this as well earlier today. I was trying to make a St. Patrick's Day combo and I didn't have anything. I had to use the John Cena pickaxe because it was green and yellow. Amazing, let's go. Thank you so much, Leslie. So by the way, it's been exactly 363 days since all of these items have came out. Finally, I own the pot of gold, amazing. As you can see, I do have the skin on that I was rocking in my other video, look at this. Just like I said, now I can equip the real pickaxe. We need a glider though. I couldn't find a good St. Patrick's Day glider. I don't think there even is one. Let me know in the comments if there is, but I don't think so. Let's see if it's at the tippity top. Yes, the lucky offers section. So first of all, make sure you have a supporter creator code entered. If you want to help support my daughter and my family, this is mine, Tabor time. So what do we got? Aura and Guild. These aren't really St. Patrick's day E, but the charming Aura is. But Guild doesn't really have a style. Get him up out of here. He's not St. Patrick's Day. Give him a pinch. Neither is the Diamond Eye or the Gold Chain or the Goldilock. Wild card, you may not think he is. But if you remember, he recently got this awesome Lucky Card style. Really, really cool. Every time I run this, people are like, whoa, how do you get that? And I said, bro, it's just Wild Card. Pretty clean. Safe Cracker doesn't have anything to do with it. Neither does the Wrap. Hayes, is she really? What? She doesn't have a St. Patrick's Day style, does she? Okay, I guess she's got the clover. That's pushing it. That's pushing it. Starshot doesn't have anything to do with St. Patrick's Day. Chance, though. Good green skin. And she's got the fire red hair. Love that. Silver Strikers, though, not so much. Then we got Sergeant Green Clover with her little minuscule top hat on. Pretty cool. 800 for her. It says, good luck out there. And there it is, the pot o' gold. This is her pickaxe, but wait, is she in the green clover? Yeah. So all the St. Patrick's Day skins are in the green clover set. Such a majestic pickaxe with the rainbow, the pot of gold, 1200. I gotta see that in game. And we got the lucky wrap. I bought this way back when in season eight. Pretty clean. Ooh, one of my favorite reactive skins in the game is back. This is Mr. Taylor, super reactive. It says unique light patterns on eliminations, damage, health, and shields. So tons of things cause this guy to react and the colors are all different. Really cool. His back bling, however, is not so cool. It's literally a sew machine. Not reactive, but it is animated. Then his pickaxes are called the B-spoke blades. Oh, I forgot I had those. I could have ran those with my combo. The problem is they weren't in the green clover set. That's why I couldn't find them. He's in the Runaway Raider? That's weird. Clover Team Leader is a scary looking Cuddle Team Leader variant. Creepy. Got a little rip right there on the side of the cheek. It says spread the luck. Lucky Clover Back Bling is really cool. Kind of patched up there too though. Pack a little luck, it says 200. And then everyone's favorite skin, the Lucky Rider. Pretty clean there. I do like the Lucky Rider. He's got a bullet hole in his clover on the top of his helmet and on his back bling. It's a three leaf clover, by the way, not a four leaf clover. But you can see it saved his life, as did his helmet. Love the skin. And there it is, the Emerald Smasher. Amazing pickaxe. 
mean and green. We got the lucky coins back bling. Nice pot of gold there. Save up your luck, it says. And raining doubloons. What's this one sound like? So this is a variant of make it rain. Well, now I can't remember what the original sounds like. It's pretty sweet, though. It's kind of like a remix of it. I like that. So there you go. That is all the lucky offers section. Some of the things fit, some of them don't. But get them while you can. I'm sure they're going to be here for like two, three, maybe even four days. But after St. Patrick's Day, they'll probably fly the coop. So get them while you can. The Nevermore bundle makes a return. That's Raven, Ravage, Iron Beak, and the Feathered Flyer. Now remember, in the bundle, since Ravage is there, you also get the Contrail because she comes with the Contrail. Dark Feathers. We got Bunny Wolf, Lion, and the Animal. Those are some sweet skins, super reactive. You can literally swap the head from a bunny to a wolf for this one. Likewise, the backling will change from a blue bunny to a pink bunny. And then for the lion, it'll change from a llama to the lion. Really, really cool. And it does that just by swapping your pickaxe, which is one of the most unique reactivities in the game. And then the Neonimal wrap is reactive to nighttime and it turns a brilliant color. I absolutely love this wrap. You know what else I love? The Ragsy skin because she got a style with no helmet on and it's perfect. One of my favorite character models right there. So awesome. And you can put a vest on her too if you want. I love this skin. Something for everyone in this one. Back playing's just okay. It's called Heartless. Just like in Kingdom Hearts. Snack Attackers we've seen before. Just okay there. Gut Bomb, Hot House, Rusty Roller, and Grow Count. These have a glow style if you weren't aware. Just okay. I think I like Hot House better, but Serena makes a return as well as Guernsey and Pepperthorn. So these skins used to come out all the time around Season 7 of Chapter 2. Serena's pretty sweet. She does come with a back bling that interacts with her pickaxes. It's not often you get pickaxes included, but it does hike the price up just a little bit. $1,400 for that. Guernsey is a Jonesy skin with a missing milk carton on the back. And the sledge heifer makes a funny cow noise. It's like something out of South Park. Pepperthorn, again, from the Alien season. You can take her top hat off or her glasses off if you want. And the Orbital Abductor is reactive to music. You can see it actually vibing to my background music right now. The Mechmurks bundle is still here. This came out yesterday. It's basically a rebooted or remixed version of the Brute Gunner skins. We got Grit and Cryptic. Grit is... Okay, he had the green in there. He's kind of like a St. Patrick's Day skin. Cryptic, however, is not. He's got the blue style plus the orange. Same thing for the back bling, blue and orange. Pretty sweet. Googly's back. Got the big old googly eyes that says, hi guys. Nice. Infinite dab. Doesn't stop. I'll never forget this because Betty White did the infinite dab one time. Pretty funny. Sweaty. Dripping sweat even through the helmet. Are you kidding me? I'm a Cat is a fun song. I love this one. I always, me and Jack sing this one all the time. Kid Leroy Bundle's still here, plus his music and his music pack. And then the Horizon Zero Dawn Bundle's still here. So what an amazing item shop. They surprised us with the Lucky Offer section for St. Patty's Day, even though it's still two days away. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Taper Time.